Hey everybody, welcome to the turn 3 video for the Battle of Lhasa. If you haven't seen the introduction video, I suggest going back and watching that. It basically gives you an overview for what's actually going on here, a little bit about the rules, the players, things like that. So let's have a quick look at what went on for turn 3. In green sector, TN went ahead and attacked the 4 skull mobile unit in H1, reducing it to 2 skulls. In blue sector, there was a couple battles that went on and a couple of units that just sort of sat still for this particular battle. If you notice down in the bottom right, there's 10 skulls now of mobile units. The enemy moved their ships over here with 10 skulls from the docks. So now they've got reinforcements here. So the players decided to, went ahead, to go ahead and remove the two, two skull fixed emplacements at the top of the mountain so we didn't have anybody at our backside. RW and KK went ahead and removed those. FT positioned himself at least three hexes away from the 10 skulls of mobile enemies on the coastline and the battalion supply moved into the gun battery. The battalion supply was also working on a couple of mechs for FT and, R and um, KK to get some Frankies into the battle. Now there's a lot of action that went on in Orange Sector. The 4M unit went ahead and moved up and took out the 1.5 skull fixed convoy. They did run into a little bit of trouble there. They had it took a little bit of damage. You can go ahead and watch the video in the description below. BI and OR moved over to take on the 2.5 and 3 skull fixed units. BI took out the 3 skull fixed mech unit and OR finished off the 2.5 skull fixed convoy unit. Most of the rest of the team with the exception of T4 who split his forces into two units, one to hold the airport, T4B, and his main force moved over to storage. The rest of the forces went ahead and attacked the docks. They fell just shy of being able to take all of the units out. The three skull fixed mech unit and the two skull fixed base unit remained. At the end of that turn, the enemies did decide to do a little bit of counterattacking. In green sector, the two skulls that were remaining in hex I, uh, H, I, H1 moved out and attacked TN. They did lose that battle, so TN was, remained in the hex. And then in orange sector, you'll notice in the top left and at the top right that a huge amount of enemy mechs have moved into the area. Now the three skull fix that was in the docks has retreated back and a three skull fix plus 24 skulls of mobile units have just moved into the sector. Some of those units came from the red sector and some of them came from off the map on the western side. The eight skulls over on the right hand side in L9 drop down from red sector and are actually approaching 4M. In blue sector the 10 skull mobile unit and the 1.5 skull fixed convoy unit both moved up to attack the gun battery. They couldn't quite get there so next turn they'll be able to attack. And that's it for turn 3, the Battle of Lhasa. I think the players have got it planned that they're going to attack the docks and try and finish that off on turn 4 and I'm not sure what they're going to do about that 24 skull mobile unit. It uh, sent the discord a little bit into a tizzy when they saw that coming in there. So I'm going to end this episode here and uh, please go down in the description below, take a look at any links that are down there for the players that are playing matches. Um, I know KK Conrad's Commandos in sector, like in Blue Sector uh, had a battle and so did the uh, HQ company and I think, I believe the 4M uh, Wrecking Crew had a battle as well, uh, so go down and check those out. Alright, until next battle, we'll see you later.